Hey, we are going to make a parachute today for a STEAM activity. Here's what you will need. Now, I'm gonna show you how to do it. We're gonna video it and you can go back because I don't expect you to do it while we are right now. You need yarn, tape, a coffee filter, and one of your plastic cups. That's it. So, the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to try to make three pieces of string the exact same length. Do it one more time, and that makes three. So I'm gonna cut it. Now, Miss Mohan, they had this string when we did the balloon rocket, right? Yes, so they, they should have it. So yes, we hope definitely. That, we hope they still have it. That's right. Okay, now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to tape our string to the outer part, and we've gotta space it out so it's equally three ways around. So there's one, Next one, two. And I know you all have seen somebody parachuting before. And sometimes at schools, they'll have a big parachute that they use for recess. And this activity actually is talking about drag. And drag has to do with the air particles that get caught with the movement of the parachute coming down. So we have the start of a parachute. And now all we gotta do is attach it to the outer part of our cup. We're gonna do the exact same thing. Tape. There's one. Make sure you get it. Sometimes it's easier to set it down and do. Two, and with this being science, if you have your parachute that doesn't work real well the first time, try something different because you can get a toy and put in it. You can use different weights and you'll see how it falls, okay? So we have our parachute made, very simple. All right, right. give me a second to go down to the bottom of the and steps she's... here. All right, Miss Bones going down and we are going to All right, we are ready, Miss Mohan. All right, I have two. I have one I created first, and it doesn't have as much weight. So let's see how it does. Okay, ready? I did pretty you good. Did pretty good. There's a little bit of a lift there where you're uh, holding it over. If you can try to pinch it out a little bit. And right. Now this one here has extra cup in it. So let's see if it falls the same or it takes a different path. So two cups. Yes. So we use an extra cup for weight. Yes. So the extra weight made it fall faster. The more weight you have, the faster it is. And again, we will go over on our slides about how these fall and what causes it. It's called drag. 